see you all out there scratching your head. You haven't figured out the answer to the question? Seven Aztecs were number one draft picks in the NFL. Have you named them yet? Well, here they are right here. You can see for yourself. in many years, Aztec fans can be optimistic about an upcoming season. Last year, they finished with an overall record of 8-4, their best since 1979. And the Aztecs showed they could compete with national powers, losing to Iowa in the final seconds of the Holiday Bowl. But 1987 is a new challenge for a team that many feel will repeat as conference champions. Race, a strong right, 28 on one. On one, you know what the stage is, Jim? Okay, you say down, 44, red 44, whatever. Favored to repeat or not, Coach Denny Stoles has a lot of teaching to do this season. There aren't many experienced players left from last year's WAC championship team. But finding replacements is off to a good start. Some of the most sought-after freshmen in the country decided to stay in their hometown and play for the Aztecs. Since the freshmen came in a week early, Stoles got a good look at Tommy Booker, the running back from Vista, who was recruited by the top schools in the nation. There's Lincoln High receiver Patrick Rowe. He's been working out despite a broken collarbone. And Fallbrook Scott Barrett hopes to be the Aztecs quarterback of the future. Assistant coach Tim McConnell, who recruits in San Diego, says those three, along with nine other homegrown freshmen, have given the Aztec program renewed credibility. I think Scott Barrett was the key to it, and I think uh, the rest of the kids will probably tell you that. He was the first really big-name kid to have verbally come out and commit to coming to the Aztecs. I know that affected uh, Tommy Booker's decision, and he'll tell you that, and I know it affected Patrick Rose's decision, and he'll tell you that. So I think that was a real breakthrough for us that, that, uh, that we got those kind of kids to be able to come here. While some freshmen may contribute, the upperclassmen will make or break the Aztec season. Quarterback Todd Sanis will lead an offense short on experience at the skill position. Last year's starting running back and receivers graduated, and it won't be easy to replace Rob Awal, the tight end. He turned out to be a third-round NFL draft pick. Junior college transfer Lee Brannon will be one of the tight end candidates, and other than sophomore wideout Monty Gilbert and junior Alfred Jackson, the Aztecs have some promising receivers, but no one who has caught a pass in a collegiate game. We have good running backs, so young. You know, I mean, we got a great you know, All-American and Tommy Booker. And I'm sure once he comes along, you know, him and Patrick, you know, we're going to be pretty good, you know. Corey, Corey and Chris meant a lot to us, but, you know, it's time for the young ones to come up. Number 67, senior Dave DeRosa anchors a solid offensive line. Reggie Blaylock, Kevin Wells, Damon Baldwin, Mike Knudsen are the others who will pass block for Todd Sanders. Protecting the Heisman Trophy candidate is something this group takes great pride in. We all talk, you know, all the time about, about if we give Todd Sanders the time, uh, there's no doubt that we can repeat, you know, a champion, you know, you know, and then give him the run for the Heisman or, or what, you know, whatever his first personal goal is also. Pressing defense wasn't an Aztec trademark until last year. Over the past seven ball games of 1986, the defense got stingy, giving up about 15 points a ball game. Lang and Brett Farinez says getting used to Coach Stoll's defensive system was the key. I think we pretty much now understand the gift of the defense and know exactly what the coaches want, whereas before, like the first few games of the season, we weren't quite sure, you know, how, how it all operated, but um, I think it'll carry over this year. While the defensive line is solid, the linebacking core is inexperienced. Well, linebacker is a big problem because everybody that's going to be playing there did not play for us last year. Stoll has to smile when he sees this group on the field, his defensive secondary. Cornerbacks Clarence Nunn and Mario Mitchell, safeties Lyndon Early and Harold Hook, they're among the best in the nation, and they want their statistics to reflect that. Well, everybody wants Let's see, at least eight interceptions. That's all American status if you get that. Everybody wants at least over 75 tackles if possible. Uh, not to get beat deep, but uh, not to get too many tackles. The special teams need some improvement. Southwestern College transfer Tyler Atherson will be the place kicker. He's already impressed goals with a strong leg. And Wayne Roth returns to punch for his fourth straight year. Most observers feel the talent is there. 
Mike Cooper says the hard work is ahead. You know, it's going out and winning the conference, you know, beating everybody. And this year, we're going to do it. Whether the Aztecs win the conference or not, they should play exciting and competitive football. When we come back, Larry Sacknoff has a story about a competitor.